Okay. I'm going to try this guy here when I get a moment. But obviously that's not available just yet. So... We can put a cheap one here for now. I am brave, mate. I'm trying to work it out. It's not easy. Especially on the hardest difficulty. Um, will that be enough for the next wave? Let's find out. Doesn't look like it. I'll give him a bit of help. Five seventy. Okay, six hundred. So if you sell that now, you can get your six hundred there. I feel like focusing in on uh, more elements might be the way to go. That's not a bad one. Because I get the plus one range. So if I do that... In theory, and that guy... But of course I need to have them come over here, so I can't do that yet. So this guy still gets the attention. No, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, wrong button. I think we've got enough anti-air though. Or do we? These can hit air. Yeah, there you go. Right, don't press spacebar. Spacebar is definitely the most convenient button, but it sometimes gets accidentally triggered. There you go, that'll do for now. So this guy should be pretty uh, strong. Because he gets that plus one range. So I'm not sure if he needs the plus one range on empowered strikes. Unless the, em the empowered strikes should hit now. I'm going to go with this. And random can suck it. That's true, Chichov. But you have to be able to sell before. You have to leak the 20 lives in order to reset the round. This guy is where the damage is. That is a really freaking nice spot for him, isn't it? 
That is so nice. Got to worry about air at some point, man. I'm getting a little bit. Just keep picking these. <laughs> I think so, because that attack speed, that increase of speed is horrible. So if you picked here, let's see. Oh, you could pick that and get the lightning and then put down the air one, because the air one from this position will be able to pretty much hit everything in the middle. I'm thinking that. I don't know what the fire does for the air. But I know the lightning certainly does well. The Empower probably is maybe the best, but I don't... The only thing is that put me off the Empower is the plus one range doesn't do anything for him. Anyway. Let's get our air dude. Give him a little bit extra range. Even though projectile piercing is good for what he's on at the moment. That's only two, though. Whereas he gets five additional on the tier two. Plus two extra range will basically be able to hit just about everything. Don't know. Maybe that's okay for now. That's probably okay for now, honestly. Plus two range is only gonna... It's only if I maze all the way up here that that's important. I think that's okay. Never quite sure whether the um, projectiles do not pierce through flyers. So pierce provides bonus damage against flyers. Or the increased attack speed. I would think the attack speed is still more important. prioritizing air, I think. There's a hotkey for it, but I don't know those yet. Kill, crush, destroy. I might want to try this one. I never got a chance to try this one. Although this one's projectiles pierce through five more enemies. Wind typed in ground units. And enemies hit are taking damage based on how many enemies the projectile pierced through, so theoretically that should be the best. Wind tile on sniper for that one. Oh, okay. So if you did that, or even down here, because that gives unlimited range and that's a more clunky position, and then do another one of these. And then increased attack speed. Uh, hang on a second. What was the... It's now converted in... Pierce value is now converted into massive attack speed. So is it better to just get the pierce then? Than the attack speed before the one that converts pierce into attack speed? I just don't know. PS count becomes attack speed. What do you think? What's on your mind? Something on your mind, boy? You're leaning towards PS, are you? I mean, if he gets the increased attack speed later on anyway, he's going to have increased attack speed with the extra 20 damage. And he's got 20 damage there. And you think doubling down on attack speed seems best. 
See, this is the thing, isn't it? It's, I don't know. You can theory craft a lot of things about it. What the hell is this? Oh, that's what fire does. Projectile now execute elites below 20%. Well, that could be good. But we're kind of trying to use that. Massive attack speed. I'm taking the pierce. Because I hate Chichov. And only because of that reason. We've got a couple of anti-air dudes, so I'm going to give this guy his bloodlust. To apply a bleed. Because I like the idea of it. Although mini cyclone sounds cool. Okay. So far, so good. He's on a wind tile. What about it? Well, it's too late to see what it busts now. It's game over. Empowered strikes and shockwaves gain bonus range and damage for each enemy the previous strike hits. Shockwave also now return to the spirit. What's this ability? What's it called? Blade Dancer. Now stuns. I don't know how that really builds into the Shockwave, though. Mr. Kirsty? Where would you put Mr. Kirsty? Here? So it's kind of like in the middle. He doesn't quite get enough range here, maybe. Or here. Which one? Top, right, or bottom? 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 Top right or bottom? Top right or bottom? Top right or bottom? Top right or bottom? I'll go for a walk and I'll come back when you've come up with the answer. Top right or bottom? <laughs> Fine, I'll do it on top of this one. I'm waiting for you to bloody type! Well, whatever. Here we go. It's done. Cursed enemies... Cursed enemies have reduced... I don't know which one, really. Minus 10 armor. How much armor do they have? It says 5. So reducing their armor by 10 seems like a lot. And make curse last for longer, so there's more chance. It probably won't work. The whole curse thing always seems to get me in trouble. Trying to get, like, the bonus souls. This was your... You could have said top right or bottom, but you refused to do it, so you made your choice. There we go. Shocking that he doesn't do any damage. He literally just applies curse. It feels like he could do damage. Just now. See, some of these have got curses. So if they die, then I get 25% more souls for that. Be nice to see how many extra souls you got at the end of the round or something. Because of it. Upgrade all wind tiles to tier 2. Place one. Oh, you can... Oh, that's not bad. 
or free blessings. I'll take this. Unstable winds, and you can't do anything about it. I could put a wind one right here. Or I can have another wind tower here and have another fairy dragon there. Or... No. You, if you had the spinny boy here, they have to come from that angle to get the most value from his spin. But I can also make him go through this fire here for free. Unless I put a tower in that spot. This slows him down quite nicely. But there's not much to do with that damage. Other than this and the range of those. Which isn't too bad either. I get more chance to curse them as well, I suppose, if they're slowed down. But if they're slowed down, then they don't make it to this point where they get killed from the curse. I can only put it on these three spots. If you had it here, and then have a spinny boy here later on, because this does like nothing for ages. But in the late game, I can have a spinny boy here, maybe. And then have empowered strikes. Let's do that and hope that I can survive that one. It will make more sense later on, but not at the moment. It doesn't make much sense. Right. Now, this is the part where I've got 20 lives. What's the hotkey for selling towers? Does anyone know? Chat, you made this game, didn't you? A select spirit. There's nothing that says release spirit. So you can't release the spirit super quickly. W. Let's try that. Oh, I changed W, because W is for remove blessing. Dragon Dennis once again. What is going on, Dragon Dennis? It's all falling apart. Cursed enemies are now worth 50% more souls. But, I don't know, this is like a Chaos Breach. Or I could basically get this by the time they get there. Apply 60 additional bleed damage stacks to elites. What do you think? Corrupted blood or bleed out? I won't be able to afford corrupted blood for a little while though. But it gets attacks apply 10 extra bleed stacks. Bleeding enemies explode on death. Applying leftover bleed stacks to all nearby enemies. Corrupted blood does seem pretty pimping. Yeah. Because it affects everything. Even elites. But the question is, is can I survive to 12, 250? Yeah. Don't have the luxury. Well, he's doing well at the moment. So this this is pretty good. I'm going to make it. And it's going to be really nice versus... You get so many little minions here. We're going to go with Corrupted Blood. There it is. That's the ultimate. Oh my god, look at that. Everything just exploded. Looks nice, doesn't it? So now, you get the plus one range on this one, why not? Empowered. And that will do him for now. That's a nice backup. 
So when they come round, he'll get plus one on his empower, so he'll reach over here as well. Please blue build on him. What? Shockwave? Yeah, I'll do Shockwave on him this time. But you, you I don't know, Dragon. You've been wrong about quite a few things at the moment, so... You're on thin ice. I'll see if I can get the 50% more souls, because normally, after you've gone through a Chaos Breach, you can breathe a little bit for a while. So it's a good time to be greedy. Now he's just showing off. Oh, wow. That's so good, though, because I'm definitely getting those souls when they're cursed. A lot of those are cursed when they're dying, so that should be a lot more souls. Probably just want to focus on the air one. I can get the spray and pray. There it is. Oh, there's another one as well. So Pierce is converted into even more attack speed or gain 25 bonus damage against flyers, and the sniper spirit now targets three flyers at a time. See that one? That one's got the most expensive thing, and the the attack speed is obviously good versus everything, but three flyers? So instead of just hitting one of them, it's hitting three. It's like tripling its damage, basically, against air. It's kind of crazy, that. Gain 0.6 attacks per second. And for each pierce. And it has... What? How many pierces? It doesn't say how many pierces at the moment, does it? All I notice is I got plus one pierce there. So I'm not sure actually what its pierce is. It got converted previously, yeah. It had like four pierce before. So I don't know if it's getting that pierce that's it previously had. Oh, I assume this is the best one because it's got all that attack speed. I mean, it's so expensive as well. 15,000, that's... That ain't cheap. Quality content tower, that is, right there. Air is definitely getting a bit trickier. I mean, my anti-ground is pretty good. With these two. What's his current attack speed? I, don't, I have no idea. Gain five, 5 bonus damage for each tile between the sniper spirit and the enemy here. If, so if you did last as your priority, focus air obviously in last, then it should be hitting the furthest away. But then again, it's going to do less damage because the one that it leaves at the front is going to get closer to it, if that makes sense. I feel like it doesn't make too much of a difference when it's doing that. There it is. He's a little psycho now. Look at him. He's got ADHD. Place two elements of any type. Well, f almost you want to look at what debuff is. Permanently elite ability. On death, heal all nearby enemies. That's pretty nasty. Elites permanently gain health regeneration. 
It's not too bad, I don't think. At least permanently gain increase the speed. I think the increased speed is horrible. Place what any element on one tile of your choosing. Or place two elements on any type of two. I'll take go for the random. So they go over here. I could do a slow debuff. Oh. Oh. That one interests me. We can have another debuff here, like a sh lightning one, maybe? It's a bit far, though. It's slightly out of range. But... It's chosen a lot of weird ones. I don't think that's really that useful. So I'll probably lean towards... Unless you want to do slow again. I don't know whether the lightning is going to be good enough, but at least it applies some different stuff. Or if I do fire and then put like an explosive boy. I haven't tried the Inferno dude, and he blows things up, and this is an area where things will blow up. Hip hop. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm going lightly. When a shocked enemy takes damage, nearby enemies also take a percentage of that damage. It's a damage percentage. And then next turn I can make him go for that. I don't need that so much, so I could remove that one. Not at the moment. I'm making go through this. Ah. Oh. No, that doesn't work. Because I was just thinking. I don't think that's going to make a difference there. Alright, that's fine. Just keep that. I'm going to focus on the anti-air again. This one needs this. Return to sender. Then we can get empowered next. If it looks like ground is problematic. If ground isn't problematic, then probably just put down another air tower. But so far, so good. I mean, you could put an air tower here because he can hit the air at the start as well. And I'm not using this. Or here as well. I'm not even. Oh no, I am using that one, sorry. Air looks good so far. Getting so many souls now. Stage five of five. We'll get your and we'll get my Don't know whether to get another curse lad. Just to really make sure these curses get applied. Nine twenty nine five five. It's definitely doing a lot of damage when they explode, yeah.
He's a good lad. Um. Ah. Oh, oh God. Ah. Oh. Right. Um. I could even fear he use that. But then his plus range. I don't know that. It hurts his range, I think. So don't touch that. You could just maze a bit longer. That's necessary because they go through there. But you want them to come through this. So, any other blessings don't really make too much more of a difference there. Doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. Balls are in there. <laughs> it does loads of damage. That slow really helps, I think. Because it stacks them all on the same space and then they sort of blow up. He's a big lad. Why not do another one? Restacking. He's not even attacking. Shouldn't he have plus one range? Oh no, my mistake. <laughs> I'm getting cocky now. Mistakes were made. Oh, I'm cursing. If I do an earthy boy here, increase his range and give him the buff to all other earthy boys. You can't select all of them at the same time. That's a bit more anti-air as well. You can move that tile you place the spin boy on up by one hex. What over here? Yeah, but then I kind of miss out on there. It's all right. It's, I, I, I got. I when I put it down, I thought I was getting his range. I think we, we're looking good now. I think the best thing is just to have some backup anti-air. Let me remove you, actually. Just to upgrade this. So I'll back up into here. Because that's the thing I think that's going to kill me now.
So we don't need any more blessings. If we do get more blessings, you can make them go up here. But then that might not make them go in that spot. Look at the debuffs. Elites permanently gain increased attack speed. Monsters gain increased speed. On dropping below 50% health. Briefly gain massive health regeneration. Monsters gain 30% health. I don't think that's going to help them though. And monsters gain 15 bonus armor. Monsters gain 25. And that one's not going to help them much. So you can get any elements on two tiles of your choosing. And upgrade all fire tiles to tier 2 and place two fire elements on any two tiles. I want to try some fire. So select two more tiles. It's a shame it doesn't let me put down some um, tiles first before. Oh, actually I can. I can just do it here. So if you really needed it, you can have a fire debuff here or something. Probably best to have it just before they go into that. And then I can have my own fire going. I might do another hell spinner here. Like you said, you miss out on some of the range, but he's still going to get the majority of it. Don't know about there or there. This will also hit here. Does it debuff air? I honestly don't know. Actually, maybe it does. Let's try. Enemies that walk through fire are burnt. So it might just be walking enemies, not air. We don't know, though. We just don't know. Um, what else was I going to do? That's pretty much it. Just get the most expensive stuff after that. And play it by ear. That'll do. So they got 33% bonus health. 4.5 base speed. 25 health regen. 10 armor. On death, heal all nearby enemies. But he's still doing a fantastic job. Oh, they're getting through a little bit. So time to look into some upgrades now. This guy could be sold and changed into another spin boy. Just in case. Air looks like it's still trying to seep through. That should do it. There you go. We've got ourselves some runes. Which can be used to unlock more bits. Victory. It only took me a few hours. <laughs> but that's I think it's worth playing on the hardest difficulty because it obviously gives you that satisfaction. And I assume it can be beaten. The only reason why playing on hardest difficulty would be a bad idea is if it can't be beaten. Because that would be hella frustrating. But if it can be beaten, then it's worth it. There you go. I don't like this 4 out of 10 though. Is that to assume that I need to do it multiple times to reach the 10 out of 10? Or unless 4 out of 10 is my score, so I'm still trash. Because I, I could have got much higher score. Even though I leaked 0 lives. I'm not sure. You guys let me know what you think that means. Oh, maybe it's the modifiers. Oh, goodness me. I don't know if we want to go down that road. That was pretty tough as it was. <laughs> let alone add in more modifiers. Start with only one life. We'll play as ultimate mastery. So, I technically didn't lose a life, so would be able to do it. And then you do it again, and then you unlock more mod modifiers. So if you obviously really love this, you can keep playing the same map over and over until you've got a 10 out of 10. But I'm probably just going to do it on the hardest difficulty on each of the maps, I think. 
or at least for now. Just to quickly show you what the runes do. Um, play, hallowed grounds, here you can see I selected spray and pray as the ultimate out of those three. But if I wanted to unlock this one, which will give me collateral damage and conduit, I could do. So you can sort of get a five of what it is that you're aiming towards. As soon as I saw the 50% more souls, of course I'm going to pick that. That's a greedy option, so that gets priority. Looks like I've got a new tower, actually. So I could take a look at those and see which ones pick your fancy. You'd probably be better off, though, just playing the next map and seeing... Hmm, okay. Well, it seems like I'm struggling a lot against tons of mobs. Is there a way I could blow those up? So, for example, cluster bombs. You could unseal that. Call upon a large meteor strike to annihilate the hordes of hell. So, depending on what you're up against, you may want to save these runes to deal with what you need. Alright, well, if you enjoyed this, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, share. I appreciate it. See if we can get this video to 100 likes. I trust you can do it. Have a good day. All the best.